Fit like a bee, Danny Min here, and welcome to Liverpool Docks. It's a spooky, sort of misty evening down at the docks. Uh, there ain't much happening, but yeah, we're going to continue the Transport Fever 2 around the world in time. We're going to do a, a nighttime mail run, because I have set up mail. The mail is now fully finished. All the trucks and stuff are on the go. And we're going to jump on a mail train as it departs from uh, Liverpool docks and heads along. I have repurposed now all the uh, the Northumbrian class. So we've got the Phoenix, the North Star, the Majestic, I believe is one, and the actual Northumbrian named itself is rolling. They're all doing their own sort of freight. Uh, so if we want to do more freight, we're going to have to add the Samson class, which we will do later. But we're going to jump on this guy. As you can see, the moon, the dark sky box looks phenomenal. Or it will do in a minute once we get rid of all this crap. All right, there we go. Get rid of that. Yeah, it looks great. Blue line, blue streak is always a thing. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. I think it's just a part of the... Thing for adding the dark sky to the sky box but yeah the docks look really cool at night so we're gonna jump along and we'll jump on this train now I am kind of hoping yep there's the, there's blue streak again it's not actually oh that's laggy super laggy it should uh, pan out eventually there we go from 4 PS 4 FPS back up to about 60 awesome Right, so yeah, the train is going to head off. We will double speed it. Because it's quite slow, the trains of old. Yeah, the, the blue streak is actually, it's one of those, uh, you know in Minecraft, you get the beacons. If you get enough diamonds, you can make a, a beacon so you don't get lost. That's what it is. It's just a beacon. <laughs> it's a Minecraft beacon placed somewhere on the map. Uh, out in the far reaches the far corners of the map. So we're heading from Whopping Goods, uh, where our mail has been dropped off. We've only got three on board, but I've, I've literally just kicked this line off. Uh, one thing I'm slightly worried about is, as you can see in front of us, tree trunks. Uh, oh, it's disappeared. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> tree trunks going through the tunnel and tree branches. I don't know how they are managing to do that. It seems kind of kind of weird but here we are we're coming through Liverpool uh, main station we don't actually have to stop here and there's no passenger train at the moment although it looks like there is people that want to uh, to ride the train on the right hand side there now my greatest fear is that we potentially will get stuck behind a passenger train as it stops at every single stop on the line that is something that is entirely possible uh, so that could be a thing. It looks like we are clear for the most part, but we're guaranteed to catch up on a passenger train because it stops everywhere and this train is is basically direct. It doesn't stop anywhere. It's just going straight to the other side to Manchester to deliver mail from Liverpool to Manchester. But as you can see, the skyline looks great. I absolutely adore the the sunset and the dark sky uh, mods. It does give you some artifact glitching uh, now and again. And the lights as well. The lights in these stations are super bright. But I am glad that they, they do actually work. Yeah, so everyone is waiting patiently there for the passenger train. And we are just going to blow straight past. Now, our planet class is on the line. That's our rocket so that is, it's fairly old now. The rockets and the some of the Northumbrians. I did give uh, the Phoenix and the North Star a clean. So I basically just renewed them so that they were sort of cleaner. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Uh, they actually went back to Edge Hill Trainworks. That was the depot that was closest to them when I sent them back there. But yeah, our train is... Heading along, aha, I see an issue. Is it an issue? Not really, it's just... Now weirdly, right, these trains in front look empty. 
But for some reason, when you're in first person mode, uh, once the train, passenger train in front, goes a certain distance, the people inside the train don't, act, and the, the open carriages don't actually render in. So it looks permanently empty, but I've noticed that in testing that is not the case. Now this only happens in when you're using the night skybox. If you're using the sunset mod or just playing it standard, they're always there, but for some reason in this, they just sort of disappear. But it's a, it's a small price to pay, uh, pay for having the, the ability to literally have a day-night cycle. It's awesome. Now, this train is going to be stopping a lot. There is one potential place we can get past it, and that is at Newton, uh, Newton Bridge train station. Because all those trains will hang around on the right-hand side of the platform. And we may or may not be able to cruise past on the left. Where is the moon? Moon? Where are you, my moon friend? There it is. Awesome. <laughs> so, ooh, what is that on the left-hand side? Where the hell does that go? Ah, that goes to the quarry. I'll have to set the quarry up. Uh, we can run freight from the quarry at some point. I think the next episode is potentially going to be uh, the Bolton and Lee Railway. I'm going to do the detailing on that line. And we can start running trains up there. Then we can do a bit of freight in between. Get the Samson class up and running. And then we can do the, the Runcorn, uh, St. Helens and Runcorn Gap Railway. Which is something else we need to, to work on as well. And then we'll, we'll pretty much be finished with this map. Once all the industries are linked, uh, we'll come back to the map later when it's time to add sort of new trains as time goes on. And then we can start start to sort of edit the map, make Liverpool and Manchester bigger cities and have them start to engulf the sort of smaller places as time goes on. That'll be nice. But we'll be moving on to a different map once that's all finished. Well, roughly, it's still be the same time period. We're not going to jump, like, you know, a hundred years into the future <laughs> and get, like, epic steam trains. We'll just be moving to the next... We'll be looking to see what the next mod is and then finding out which railway it ran on. So there is something down to the right-hand side there. Oh, yeah, that's the branch line that goes off to the St. Helens and Runcorn Gap. Duly noted. Now the th the thumbnail for the for this actual episode is wasn't actually going to be the thumbnail. Now what I was going to do is uh, we'll jump off the train for the moment, but I was going to have it be like the the ruined castle with the the moon in the background, and have the mail train at the left hand side there. I thought that would be kind of cool, you know. Just take a snapshot right there, and that was potentially going to be the the screenshot, but I, I changed it. There's our demolished castle right there. There's the beacon. The blue streak of death is still there. <laughs> but yeah, I, I decided to get a nice shot of it passing over a bridge with a, a, the moon in the background. Now, weirdly, I did want to sort of notch up the brightness while doing the the sunset episodes and the nighttime episodes because in some places it does look really dark uh, for me it's just fine but for some reason uh post editing it comes out sometimes it looks quite dark uh, i've had people message me saying it's dark but then reply saying that it's they've literally got the power saving mode on and whichever device they're using to watch it and that takes brightness away from the screen if you're using if you're watching this in an iphone or an ipad or something then yeah crank that brightness way up but just be aware it's going to be at the expense of battery life so yeah in some cases it does look super dark but there is no actual contrast or brightness slider for transport fever because the game is meant to be played in perpetual daylight. There's a palm tree there. That is going to be deleted as soon as I remember to delete it. But it won't be in this. I'll have to come back and do it. Uh, one of the things it does say about this mod is that once adding it, it's, it's kind of difficult to remove. Uh, the game doesn't like you removing it. 
and it doesn't work uh, for me 100% all of the time. Uh, there are times when I go to load it and the computer says no and when it's in the loading screen for this map it crashes it and then you go to load it again and it works just fine and then you load it the next time and it'll crash again, load it again and works just fine, load it again works just fine. It's, it's a sort of weird situation going on there but I am glad that it is working. So I really wanted to do this episode because I thought it would be cool running on our night train. Now this is the actual screenshot I went with and it is literally the train, uh, the freight train going over the bridge here with the the canal in the background. There you go. With the old moon there. There's a really weird bridge. I didn't build that. But I doubt the AI built it. Or maybe it, maybe it was an ex I think it was already there. Right, what are you? Ah, uh, that's one of our... No, it's a rocket. I've been looking for the, the planet class uh, trains. This is potentially maybe one in front of us. Right, we are stopped again. There is also a, another Northumbrian that should be heading towards us that is taking mail from uh, Manchester docks. To Liverpool because there is actually a postal sorting office in Manchester as well I love the fact that the at least our road vehicles have little lamps on the side of them and they actually do light up and work during the night so that's kind of cool actually I'm really cool I'm really happy that that actually actually does work there we go stopped again <laughs> I thought this was going to be a nice fly-through, you know, because the other drive-bys, the train always stops, and I thought it'd be nice just to have this one go on its merry way without hindrance. Uh, I forgot that there were other trains on the map, though. I think for some reason in my brain, I don't know why, I thought, oh yeah, all the passenger trains will be in the depot because there's no services at night time. Uh, but that's now try. That's not how the game works. But yeah, love the dark sky mod. It's absolutely awesome. Imagine there was rain and actual snow that worked, and not just placing snow as a ground texture. And I thought it'd be nice to run the mail train uh, sort of through the night. Now we have actually passed Newton, and we never got past the train. And one thing I did notice is. Uh, it looks like, for some reason, the train has ignored the waypoint that I added for it. Possibly because I had to delete a part of track at Manchester because the freight trains were getting stuck. So one of the things you do is you can set up a train route and it can be absolutely perfect. Deleting a section or demolishing a part of the track that's got absolutely nothing to do with your train can then cause the AI to go, oh well... He's changed this. I'm now going to change the line. Uh, which is really annoying and frustrating. I don't know what, why it does that. Transport Fever 1, even though we never had it right at the very beginning, a system was added where you could actually lock platforms. There was a little padlock next to the platform uh, and you could click it. There was one of the planets. That was a planet class that just went past there just now. Yeah, see, I could have passed that passenger train on the left-hand side here as well. But we didn't. And actually got a fair distance in front right there. Now we're stuck. But we will be leaving this train shortly. It will carry on down the main line and we'll head down towards the river. And we'll be running along there. So yeah, it had a padlock and you could padlock the platform. And that normally about 90% of the time kept your train on the side of the tracks you wanted it to be on or use the track that you wanted it to use they've not implemented that in this for some bizarre reason so now when you change stuff with a track or change something there's another planet class so it looks like the planet classes that are on the line are kind of bunched up kind of stuck together that's a shame but yeah, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, the yeah. if you change something with the track, for some reason the AI 
I think it, it, the AI thinks it's trying to help you, but it's it's really not. And it changes up the line. So that is what has definitely happened there. We should have passed that train by now. There was two different passing places. One at Newton, that other one just back there. But for some reason, it looks like the train is now traveling on the same actual route as the, the Liverpool and Manchester passenger trains, which kind of sucks because I, I spent ages trying to make sure that they didn't. Now, we might be able to pass it here. It really depends who gets out in front. Uh, we are going to have to stop. No! <laughs> that would have been nice to pass that there. There you go. There's the... Oh, the moon is gone. Yeah, the beacon is still there. We're just going to refer to it as the beacon from now on. I'm going to add a dairy farm in here because I have a phenomenal amount of cows. Oh no, this is not the phenomenal amount of cow area. There is another area where there's a phenomenal amount of cows. And the, there's the other planet class. No, it's not. It's a rocket. It's a very, very dirty. No, it's a Northumbrian because it's carrying freight. Yeah, but this, this passenger train in front will no longer become an issue. And we can see a couple of wagons in the distance. It looks like it's only the sort of stagecoach wagon, uh, the coach wagon. The sort of open wagons don't have... Now, this should be flat, but it's not for some reason, for reasons unknown. Oh, we're getting an autosave, really? I love the fact that during an autosave, because everything is paused... The game bumps up to about 120 frames per second. <laughs> now this is being recorded and played out on 2K. I have done some tweaks to my GPU to get a bit more performance out of this. Uh, it will run fine at 4K, uh, but it doesn't. The OBS doesn't like sharing uh, the sort of GPU load with actual loading the game. And I've noticed that the more and more stuff that I add, obviously the less and less performance is going to get because that is just the a general characteristic of Transport Fever. Once you've got a couple of hundred uh, vehicles running on a map, it's, it's going to be bad. That's why I have money on because I actually want to see if services... Even though we're trying to mimic what happened in real life, I do want to see if the services actually make money. The passenger trains do, and for the most part, the freight trains are doing fine now as well. So are most of the bus routes and the tram routes. Uh, they're doing just fine as well. Some of them are sort of teetering on making money and losing money, uh, but most of them are pretty decent for the most part. So, yeah, I don't want to... If you were playing with money, you would, you would flood a route with about 50 trucks or something in order to move goods. But because we're not playing this as the game is intended to be played, we're sort of doing this as for aesthetics uh, to sort of recreate and rebuild some of the iconic railways. And eventually, we'll have large parts of the world where we'll have railways that run today and hopefully they'll be decently accurate. I have mentioned in previous videos that it's difficult to find information from these times. Not every train or vehicle in the world has been modded, or at least not yet. Uh, so there are things, for example, the Bolton and Lee Railway uh, did hire locomotives from the, the Stevensons who made the rockets, the Northumbrians, Planet, Samson, etc, etc. But a lot of them were made by other sort of engine rights and uh, engineers, and they're just that available to us. So we have to sort of make do with what we've got. I mean, we do have Sans Peril, uh, Sans Peril, which we can't actually use. We're heading into Manchester, though. That looks really good. I love the gasometer. The beacon has just appeared on the right hand side. This building is awesome. It's maybe a bit too new age for this sort of time. There are other gasometers that were modded in Transport Fever 1. Uh, it took me ages to find them because I couldn't remember if they were actually in Steam Workshop 
or if they were on transportfever.net or uh, mod works that uh, there's also a Russian website as well that's got a lot of Russian mods that does so yeah, it's got some really cool stuff that I'm gonna potentially attempt to pour across but the easiest way is to grab stuff from Steam uh, just use the mod converter it's basically anything that is a placeable asset will work vehicles can be slightly temperamental and it's it's difficult to get them up and rolling uh, but we'll see we shall see how we get on so there we go look at the smokestacks on the planet they're absolutely huge but we have made it there we go Liverpool Manchester yeah it's a Samson because it's got the bigger wheel base they will be getting popped out uh, later we will actually be running them but yeah that is going to be it for uh, this episode still got four mail did you load or unload mail uh, let's have a look because these guys uh, you're taking paper down and paper is fine uh, the other mail sorting office for Manchester is actually over here uh, there it is and I've added this I am gonna flesh this out as well at some point and we'll make it nice uh, these are kind of cool as well because these have no collision right you can line them up with something like this and you can have vehicles go in and load a platform and turn around inside here for example go to buildings streets nah, 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 nah. we want freight yeah so there's a couple of things you can leave in here you can get a road that goes in here uh, I don't want that one particularly. Where's the standard? Right, so there's the standard. So these will actually... That one's a bad example because it's on the edge of a junction. Yeah, but these actually fit in here pretty perfectly. Now, if you select a vehicle to use the inside platform, it'll literally stop at one of these walls and it'll spin round and it'll come back out. And they will actually go through the gates and stuff as well. So yeah, these are these are really cool. Uh, I might actually have them be. Why am I following this road vehicle? Where are you going? Ah, uh, you're going to get paper. You need lights, sir. You need lights on your vehicle. <laughs> right, the mail train is leaving. The majestic. Ah, so we were on board. Oh no, the other mail train is left. Yeah, the majestic needs definitely a wash potentially a repaint but yeah see it's made 1.1 million which is pretty phenomenal eventually this will sort itself out if we go to what is it again line stats no negative these line stats so balance right so this me these two mail chains that we've just added are losing is 200,000 Mail to Liverpool will actually, this is just really getting its first stuff. Anything with a Z is a vehicle that you can't have in an a, as an asset. But I put one on a sort of line to get it and I put ZZ is the break. So this is the break between everything that is in profit and not in profit. There we go, the paper train is making money. You're making 1.4. And eventually, these will start to make money as well. But as I said, they've they've literally just been released. And there's a 41 minute turnaround time for them. But that's all the, the sort of freight trains we have to spare. We will be releasing the, the Samson class, but we're going to use that for heavy freight. Uh, we'll get the clay pit up and running, the steel works. Uh, we'll get some collieries and stuff up and running as well. Where's the moon? I always lose the moon. There you go. Because if you're too high up, you can't see the moon. It's over there. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to leave it there for that episode. Ah, we need to get the quarry up and running as well. Yeah, we're going to leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. I've been Danny Min. This has been. Why does it keep giving me this?
go with that then. Where is the North Star? You are stuck behind another passenger train. Oh, <laughs> yeah, as always, this has been Transport Fever 2 around the world in time. And I will catch us later.